Please note, Father Michael's Ministries is doing some crowdfunding through GoFundMe under James Hendrick Empowerment. Uh, please find James Hendrick Empowerment and, and donate your best uh, love offering. And um, God bless each and every single one of you. God is good! Happy New Year from Father Michael, Father Michael's Ministries. Um, this is praying for a hurting world. So, so pleased to have you guys here this New, this new Year's. Um, and I have to say, um, I don't, I'm not sure which Bible verse it's, um, uh, it is. Um, I know one of the Psalms says, The steps of a righteous man are ordained of God. Okay, and so with that, um, I just want to say, God bless each and one of you. Today's topic is, um, New Year's resolutions. And this is Father Michael's Ministries, and this is absolutely what we believe. And now, some Christian admonition from Father Michael. Hello, my people. Hello, my children. Hello, my parishioners. This is Father Michael of Father Michael's Ministries. Wishing you a happy new year. I hope, and I hope a very prosperous one, too. Well, today, you know, as some people do, if for tradition, they like to make, you know, some New Year's resolutions. Well, I could think of some that would um, definitely uh, could uh, be um, New Year's resolutions in some fact needing, you know, to be, you know, uh, definite. You know, the first one, you know, would always be, um, uh, you know, keeping, you know, your faith in uh, our Father God. That, you know, or that he will help you, you know, you know, with, with, throughout whatever it is, you know, you're going with through or dealing with or whatever. Then it's, um, um it's, you know, just such a, a thing of having just, you know, having a faith, you know, in, you know, a God as we do as Christians. Whereas people that don't, you know, believe in God and they even say things such as, oh, you're talking about a sky fairy or you're talking about something in your imagination. Oh, yes, people, Christians out there, believe me, there are people out there that do say these kind of things. And I know some people down here, well, down here in the deep south where I'm in right now, are kind of maybe get a little mad about that. Well, yeah, it makes me mad too. But you know, I'm like, okay, okay, whatever. You, you, you control your demons over there. Leave me alone. This, we're we're gonna praise God. That's what we're gonna do. Praise the Lord. Now, let's, don't let anything stop you from that. 
you know, people say, well, you know, I'm trying to be a Christian. I'm trying to do what, you know, is right. I'm trying to do what the Lord Jesus taught, you know, you know, us to do, you know, that's in the Bible and stuff like that. And then they say, oh, well, that's just, that's just, that's just a, a fairy tale book. And, um, uh, and there's just, um, uh, no particular reason that, um, I, uh, you should even be even reason, reading that because it's 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 ridiculous. I mean, it's totally, it's it's just you know, it's just nothing to it, you know. But I think not, you know. I believe, you know, in a in a universal God, you know, in His Son Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. I believe in the Holy Trinity, and if you don't have the Holy Trinity as as, you know, as, as to, you know, on your side, you know, you, you're, you're hopeless. You know, if you do not, if you do not have, you know, you do not have them, you are indeed hopeless. But this is a new year, people. You know, we need to start thinking about some things. I mean, we've been having a lot of problems. We've been having border crises and everything. You know, people are, you know, really kind of scared. People are, you know, mad. A lot of people are mad about things, and and you know, and uh, I've even seen some comments that some people have actually said that those people didn't even have souls. Oh, uh, now I had to say something about that. You know, I did. Uh, they say now, well, wait a minute now. Oh yes, they do have souls. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, I had kind of, I had to, I said that. I was kind of, yeah, hold it, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, but you know, there are people out there that will say some certain types of people that they just basically just do not have a soul. Well, you know, that's really, really. I'll just say it plain, plain. It's stupid. <laughs> of course, everyone has a soul. And the people that say that other people don't have souls, well, they do have a soul, but it's not a very good one. But anyhow, again, we're hopping off on a bunny trail here. But, uh, but um, and, um, and remember, I'm an Epis uh, I'm an independent Episcopal, um, you know, priest. You know, and in my religion, you can have a little bit of wine and everything. So, um, but um, I haven't had any yet tonight, and I'm not going to have any. I'm just. Being, being, being silly, you know, some people be like, oh no, he's going to drink wine. That's, he's going to be evil tonight. Oh, yeah, okay. Just throw a little comedy your leg that your way too. But, you know, let's get back to the point, you know, about, you know, making these, you know, um, uh, you know, these, um, New Year, you, you know, pro, you know, promising yourself you're not going to do this. Well, I mean, one thing we all need to do too is read our Bibles more. You know, we need to get back into the Word of God, you know, start from the beginning. I mean, in the New Testament, I say people need to study the New Testament more than the Old Testament because most of the Old Testament is just history and it's, it's passed away. So, you know, that, um, and go to church if people up there, if you're up there, you know, you have churches you haven't been to in a long time, and, you know, maybe you go back to these churches, you, you maybe, you know, if that, that's what you want, but, you know, if not, find you another church. There's plenty of Christian churches out there. Just find one that you can actually deal with. It's the way I see it, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't believe in there's one true religion. And I never will of Christianity. I mean, there's just di different aspects. It's just different things are done different, just differently. That's all it really is. And saying so there's, I mean, there's difference in beliefs from the same Bible, but the, but the same different beliefs because there's different interpretations in some ways. And in some ways, it's just literal. But then again, that's getting into the Bible, and that's getting into more of a a teaching type thing more than it would be a preaching type thing. So, but anyhow, let, let me just say that, you know, and we, we, we should, you know, be grateful, you know, for what we have in the United States of America. That, you know, that, you know, we have, you know, things to help, you know, uh, us, you know, that, you know, that can, you know, that through the government sometimes, uh, to help United States citizens, and, you know, that's one thing we have that, that, you know, people in other, you know, countries, you know, they, 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 they there's no such thing as government assistance from them. I guess unless you're in one of their prisons or something, but I'm, um, 
but I'm, uh, you know, we, we live in a good country. We should be patriotic about our country. You know, we should, you know, always, always vote, always vote. That's the problem. People just stop voting. Why should I vote? Well, you should vote. I say so, you know, and, um, uh, you just, I mean, honestly, you know, it's, um, ah, 2023 can't go fast enough for me. I want 2024 to come up, but like I said, I'm not going to get too off on that little money trail either. But let's just say that all in all, from what I've been saying and about saying things, you can just think of a million other things yourselves about what you want to do for your uh, New Year's resolutions. But let me just say, you know, that, you know, starting off, you know, this year, 2023, you know, uh, you know Sunday, you know, the first that, you know, I, I'm going to keep continue with my podcasting. I've been doing this over five and a half years now. There's some of them that were, that were on there that is the most popular, which I could always uh, have told at the end of my podcast. And a few other things, but I'm, uh, I will say that if, if any of you are just barely tuning in and you're barely listening to me, that, you know, that I'm, uh, I myself am not a motivational speaker preacher. You know, I'm not like some of the big names out there that are, you know, that, and I'm, uh, that are pretty, pretty much that preach the watered down word of God, but make you just feel all so great and everything is make you all just so wonderful. You know, teaching the watered down word of God and just, and just simply, just, just simply just making sure you feel good, but you'll give your tithing and you'll, you'll do, you know, and, and, and oh, it's just, it's just this way it has, has happened. All, the, all this, it's just, it's ridiculous. Is it wrong for, for ministries to have money? Well, no, there's nothing wrong with it. But if you're, what it needs to be more centered around is Christ. Your whatever it is you're into, if it's a church, if it's a charity, whatever it is, needs to be centered around Jesus Christ. No matter what it is. And let me say as to, as I usually do in some episodes, I personally am not a exorcist. Okay, now there are ministers that I have listened to online before. They're trying to say, well, it says in the Bible here you can cast out demons, and then it says here you can cast out demons and all that. Okay, well, okay, and this minister was trying to say that that you know, you know, anybody who is a Christian, you know, even you know, they can you know, cast out demons. So, uh, you know, let me, all I got to say is this, that anyone who is an entry-level Christian, especially, remember I say, I say entry-level, I don't say baby, I don't like that, but anyhow, entry-level Christians have no business trying to cast out demons, you know, even like I said, I myself, you know, uh, you know, in the, in the unctions that I have, I don't even do this. That is used, is only done for people of whom God himself has given them the special talent, the special, you know, gifts to do such a thing. Because, again, if you don't believe me, you can read this, what's this, all the seven sons of Sceva, and that is in the New Testament, and at the end of my podcast, I will, I will also have that chapter and verse I'm uh, read on there if you wish to look at it and let, if you wish to look it up yourself look it up I don't have uh, I don't have my little uh, cheat sheet here right now with me but um, uh, yes maybe you should find out what happened to those seven Jewish exorcists and what happened to them and um, uh, let me just tell you it's, it's you, you know you're allowed to get jumped and get demonized yourself that's what could happen to you or somebody else around you so I'd say you don't you just you simply just don't do that, you know. Ministers out there that say you can, well, um, I just, you know, you can't. That's only for people that know what they are doing. Don't listen to these ministers that can get you jumped by a demon, too. Or two or three, or I don't know how many. So I'm just saying, you know, it's a bit of admonition. Stay away from that stuff. 
if anyone out there you know feels like they are possessed by demons then you would need to get in touch with someone a minister that that deals with that particular kind of a thing and they got their own particular kind of way the roman catholic church has their own way of doing that i mean that is one particular way it can be done but more on a protestant way you know there are just other um ministries out there that can handle that they're morally the holiness pentecostal types are the one that handle that but that is what's out there but now since i've made you know you know such i made my statements what i what what i'm not but what i am in, in my whole ministry is 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 the the the, the, the prime directive is salvation and that's 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 more what I deal with than anything, because in this day and age, the way things are going, the way just some certain things in life, you know, you know, twenty years ago they would have thought that was horrible and terrible, and now it's just it's just considered just normal. Just things are normal. Twenty years ago, you know, it would have been okay. These people are going to burn in hell. Or even 20 years ago, what do you mean? People would say, even make a statement that people are going to burn in hell if they don't do, you know, what our Lord Jesus says, or if they don't get saved. If you know, if you don't get, if, if you don't, you know, have a, if you don't believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and if you don't make him your personal Lord and Savior, you know, you know, you know anyone out there that it's not, that has never done that, you're going to go to hell. And you will burn there for eternity. And I'm not, and that's one thing I will do. Everyone must know I am a hellfire and damnation, brimstone and the whole nine yards type of a priest. I will tell you exactly what's going to happen to you. As, and, and, and any of you out there can just, that you're doing this, go ahead, just, just laugh and say, oh, ha, he's talking about his sky fairy. Or, oh, ha, 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 ha. He's just, he's just talking about his, his, someone in his imagination. But when that person dies, all they're going to be hearing is, ah! for, for eternity. Does that sound good? I didn't think so. Well, anyways, now that I, I probably scared you all to death, and it's not even Halloween, just a joke. That I'm, uh, that I'm, uh, I'm gonna ask you, you know, honestly. I mean, if you, if you died tonight, what would happen to you? Well, where would your soul go? Would you go to a very bad place like hell with all that screaming, hollering, and all that in agony? Or would you rather get to heaven where it's a nice place and, you're in comfort, like, for eternity as well, you know. Can be done, you know. I mean, see, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, he paid the price for us. He paid the price on, the, on this cruel cross. And one day I'll get into everything that happened to him. But I will say this much, too, you know. A lot of people don't know this, but, you know, Jesus didn't have just... Uh, spikes in his hands, you know, and everything. He also had one right in his adjacent, his adjacent wrist, you know, to, because if they'd been straight through his hands, they would have ripped through like that, right? So that's one bad thing that, you know, that, that he went through that a lot of people don't really know. Unless you've been listening to my um, uh, podcast, and you do know. <laughs> but um, let me just say, you know, I just made this prayer, you know, that's, for salvation and it works for daily prayer too for for forgiveness of sins and and in general and and i'm i'm going to say that um that you know even if maybe out you out there you know your your lord's tugging at your heart you know maybe you're thinking what if i die tonight Maybe you're in a lifestyle right now that it's a possibility you just might die tonight. And I'm the last person you hear. Um, you know, I'm the last ministry you hear. And if you die, you might just burn in hell forever. Well, I don't want that to happen to any of you. I mean, let me just say, you know, I love my parishioners, definitely. You know, but all you other people out there that can hear me right now, I love all, each and every one of you. You know, Father Michael loves you. And if no one has said he, anybody said anybody loves you today, Father Michael did. 
Okay, and I, I love you. I like our Lord Jesus Christ loved us, loves me. The Jesus in me sees the Jesus in you. But let me just ask you now, you know, if you pray this prayer with me, you know, you will be a Christian. And then, yeah, I'll just give you instructions what to do after that. And should be easy. If not, well, then I'm, I'm, I have an email address. I can always, you know, be emailed. If you want to ask me some questions, you want prayer requests, I do that too, totally for free. You know, I don't pray, I, I don't, I don't, you know, charge for a prayer requests like some do, but I'm, um, uh, not for prayer requests, but um, uh, now let me, let me ask you something. Just you know, if if you, wherever you may be right now, if you can safely do so, you know, if you can, I'd like for you to bow your head and I want you to close your eyes, and I want you to pray this sinner's prayer with me. And you pray, and um, I, and you, this this prayer, and even if you can't speak or anything, and you can only talk in your mind or something like that. You know, that's okay, too, just in case you may be in a country if they knew you were listening to me. You know, they might kill you. So uh, that's the vibe I'm getting. So let's just start with prayer. Say, Father God, in the name of Jesus, forgive me of my sins in word, thought, and deed. In Jesus' most holiest name, amen. Praise the Lord. If you prayed that prayer, you aren't a Christian now. Welcome to the world of Christianity. Get yourself a Bible-based church, you know, and that uh, teaches the Bible, um, especially, but, um, uh, and, you know, if any of you have been backslidden and you prayed that prayer, well, you're right back with God again. Stay with him. Don't leave him. He never left you. You left him. And, uh, of course, you know, get baptized. I mean, this year... Maybe it might be a little more easier for people to get baptized since the devil's virus is still around. But in that case, you don't know what that I call it. That's what that's the COVID-19. I call it the devil's virus. It's also called Title 42 in the United States. But, uh, yeah, the, but the Title 42 is the devil's virus too. So, um, uh, that's, that's fine. And, um, uh, and I just wanted to say that, you know, if you didn't get, you died and you didn't get baptized during the devil's virus, Jesus would know. He'd know when it's your time to die and you will, when you get judged by him. We will all get judged by Jesus when we die. And the reason we get judged by Jesus is because God gave Jesus the preeminence to do so because of his loyalty to become, you know, the savior of the world. Little, te little teaching tidbit there. But let me just go ahead and just uh, mention to you all that um, uh, that um, uh, you know, I can be found on um, a, a lot of many uh, different outlets. You know, I can be found on Spreaker. That's S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R. -E -E and um, uh, I can be found on iHeartRadio, um, YouTube, um, Podchaser, uh, Podcast Addict, Google Podcast, um, and it's and a few others, and um, uh, that can be found there. And um, uh, please subscribe, you know, to my, you know, podcast, and um, uh, and uh, you know, and uh, put the note of, and and and, and, and uh, click the notification bell to every time I come out with a podcast. Uh, you can get it; it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. So, um. Uh, I appreciate that, and uh, I just wanted to say, you know, just, you know, one more time, you know, that I, I love all of you, and I just want you all to feel loved as Christ loves all of us, and as God also, of course, that gave his only biggest son, God and Son to die for us. So let me just thank you, thank you all for, for allowing me into your homes and into your hearts, you know, this evening on this first of 2023 New Year's Day. So I just want to thank you again and for wherever your domicile might be, whether, whether it's a house or a trailer house or apartment or a condo or I don't know, maybe a tent, hopefully not, but wherever it may be, thank you very much for allowing me in. And I want to give you all a blessing and you can wait for it. You don't have to, you can use it later tonight, but watch this in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
few housekeeping notes from the ministry. Father Michael's asked me to look for the Bible uh, chapter that deals with the seven sons of Sceva. So I'm going to do that for you now. It, we know it's in we know it's in the book of Acts. So New Testament. Um, we're gonna still look here. Still looking for the information about the okay X fifteen. That's not where it's at. And It, the, it's in Acts 19.14. If I were you to look through that also, please also note that Father Michael Ministries is raising crowdfunding through GoFundMe through James Hendrick Empowerment. If you'd like to donate, please look up James Hendrick Empowerment and GoFundMe. Your donations would be greatly appreciated. I hope you enjoy uh, listening to Praying for Hurting World with Father Michael and Father Michael's Ministries. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part of the Praying for a Hurting World community. Uh, this is Father Michael Ministries saying until next time, take care and God bless you.